Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of fail-safe. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks, and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? 
One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Nick. Yep. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Yeah. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? No way I could pick this. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city. There's a platform that should take you up. says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Hey, a new Coca -Cola. if you're thinking safety, a long-range rifle lets you stay in cover and out of sight. But you might want a secondary weapon for flexibility. Let's see what you got. Feel free to test the grips.
Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench hey. for all okay. your modifications. What am I doing? Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Okay, this is what I've got. Hello. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. Let's see what you have. Something for everyone. Shopping right here. Gotta balance out the chemistry. You work too hard. That hard is the whole body. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Whoops. Need to have to Hey, swatter, 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 swatter. Swing, swatter. Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Swatter, swatter, who needs a swatter? Protection for sale! Hand-tooled pieces! Why would you need those? I was... just Excuse tinkering with General, some stuff at home. Do you have a minute? Thought I'd fix up one of those pre-war appliances. Or maybe you needed to recharge yourself. That's what you things do, right? What, what? is it, Preston? Look, what do you I know I put you in an almost sin? impossible I position when I asked you to leave the minute. I didn't have any right to ask you to take that on. I guess I was kind of desperate at that point. I still don't know why you said yes. If it was for me, or for the Commonwealth, or for some other reason. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done. If you look at where we were then, to where we are now, I can hardly believe it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. It's good to hear, especially from you. We make a good team, General. No doubt about that. I've taken up enough of your time. We'd better get back to it. The hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Everything I got will keep you safe. Let's see what you got. Something for everyone.
Myrna. Keep away from my stall. I don't know you. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. But I don't know. Are you really uh, human? I keep telling you, I'm human. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. I've got a few minutes to browse. A bit of everything. Prescriptions filled. High quality cams right here. The super you best good Valentine. You the good work. Of your Most sense scared the hell out of me, but Nikki, he ain't like those the new files from Opus. Do you have a legitimate medical concern, or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Just hurt all over. Uh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. All done. Any other complaints? I've got an itch, Doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? We can sober you up. Please. Don't be an idiot and go out drinking immediately after the procedure. All done. Any other complaints? That was it. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. No funny business. Chem I Care cares about you. All your medicinal... Read the public and be prepared. Into the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain airheaded blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more... responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help?
Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Nick Valentine wanted me to see you. Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? You two aren't trying to get me into hot water now, are you? <laughs> A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. What are you gonna do with that? Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm telling you, something's not right. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Waiting on you.
You gonna talk? Get Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. Then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. <laughs>